boot up time of Windows Vista. I was going to do this for Windows 7, but it's, sadly it's no longer on my computer. I have my cell phone as a stopwatch right here. And I'm going to set this down for a second. In three, two, one. Okay, computer started up and the clock is running. This is just to the login screen, not to the actual desktop. Because, you know, somebody's password could be lengthy, it could be whatever. Okay, 20 seconds in. I'm at my actual manufacturer's screen. Checking the BIOS. Microsoft Corporation. 37 seconds in. Done. Flickers. 56 seconds. Time. One, oh, one minute, four seconds. This was the boot up time of Windows Vista, not actually to the desktop. I'm going to do that in a few seconds. The amount of time that Windows Vista takes to log into my desktop. I have it. I have my uh, cell phone as a stopwatch again, and we're gonna. As soon as I press enter, I'm gonna start it. In three, two, one, start. The clock is running. Fifteen seconds. This is taking a while. 30 seconds. I'm going to wait till all my applications are on my screen. Screen flickers. I can't get rid of that message. Fifty seconds. Loading my applications. One minute, ten seconds. I, uh, just a quick question. How do you clean in between keyboards? Because remember that time I told you guys to add a Coke and it bursted? Yeah, some of it got into my keyboard. I'll show you. There's my dock. Uh. If you can see between the 7 and 8 key, I'll zoom in a little bit. There's, that's res, that's residue of coke. I can't get, I can't actually get between the keys and swap it. If you have, have any suggestions on how to clean it, that'd be grateful. 1 minute 53 seconds. And that's the only application that pops up. Wow. Alright. So, time stop. 2 minutes, 1 seconds. Actually, it's more like 1 minute 58 seconds. So, yeah, this just sucks when it comes to logging in, but booting up, it's okay. I mean, Windows 7, I admit, it was a little bit faster, but sadly, I don't have the beta anymore, and the release candidate sucks. If I knew how to partition my hard drive, I'd do it, but I'm just not going to install it again unless the official release comes out. Which Microsoft claims it's going to come out near the end of 2009 or early 2010. I'll see you guys later.